Pengos is fouled. Robert Sacre has been quiet in this game, but when he can get in that painted area, he knows what to do with it. The two-hand flush. All right, Ryan, and here at Xavier, we go over Lafonso's 2011 award winners. And you got Jared Sullinger as your player of the year. Take us through the rest. Coach of the year, Tommy Amaker, the job that he's done with this team. They've gotten terrific wins against Florida State. They won the day, doing a terrific job. Freshman of the year, Anthony Davis. I mean, have you seen the length on this kid? His versatility, ability to get up and down the floor and finish around the rim. And is there a better team in the country than Syracuse? They may be the deepest team in the entire country. They lead the country in bench points. Deion Waiters getting it done off the bench for Syracuse. Stayed as well, one of the remaining unbeatens. Larry Bell Jr. back in the game as he feeds Sacre. Sacre banging underneath, jump hook is short. And it ends up with two Holloway. Under seven to go in this one. Gonzaga by seven. Good decision by Kenny Freeze. Lions into the paint, knifing to the rim, nicely done. His patience coming off the ball screen, letting it develop when the big shows, and then once the big releases, he explodes through the gap. Offensive rebound, that's huge. And Zaga has won the battle of the boards here in this one. 12 offensive rebounds in this game. Harris a three. And Walker pulls it down. It's a good defensive possession by Xavier. Really guarding all that ball screen action from Gonzaga really well. The only thing that hurt him was that extra possession. Lions off the mark. Great job. Taylor flying in for the board. Holloway slipped down, lost it. Pangos scoops it in. That's a tough play. Lions all over him. He's looking at the referee feeling like he's getting bumped as he's coming off that screen But he's just gonna have to be a little stronger with the basketball because that's a man guarding him as a freshman Gary Bell jr. Is a big boy Freeze and Sacre continue to battle underneath Sacre did a really good job there of Playing him on the high side, and even when they went to try to go to high low action, he was in perfect position. Brees goes left hand, out of bounds, off Elias Harris. Tuesday night coverage of college basketball continues a pair of conference matchups. ESPN 2 and 7 Eastern in the Big Ten. It's number 17 Michigan State, number 11 Wisconsin. ESPN U7 Eastern. It's number 4 Louisville and St. John's. Ricardino's team off to the perfect start. And now they've dropped two in a row. Georgetown. And that was on Wednesday. And then today losing at Kentucky. Yeah, they're playing against superior competition right now. But when you consider all the injuries that they've had, John, he's a coach of the year candidate for sure. Sacre fouls Lions. Mark Lyons will shoot two. It's the second on Sacre. 16 fouls on each side. Lions good free throw shooter at 71 percent. Been really just pleased with his progress, John. I mean, a guy who has a tremendous motor at times would play out of control during his career. Now all of a sudden he's reading, making great decisions. Even that play hesitated, the bit froze the big and attacking the baseline to give himself an opportunity for two free throws. 
freshman D. Davis will check back in. Freshman out of Bloomington, Indiana. Lions will sit. With D in the game, because of his quickness, they'll try to really get into the basketball. So watch to see if he or two Holloway can get a couple steals here. Got to figure closing in on four that the rest of the Lions won't be very long. Bell inside. Use the window. Offensive putback for Bell. Nobody blocked out. Holloway a pull up. And Pangos tracks it down. Now that's a good shot for two Holloway, but at times if you take those down too early, you don't have your offensive rebounders in place. And they could use a bucket here. And Zag is so patient offensively, looking for the first mistake you make, and then they attack. Dower another three, and he misses this time. First time for everything. As Dower can't knock it down, he's had quite a night. 18 points for the sophomore in Minnesota. John, I think with three minutes to go, I think you got to get Mark Lyons back in this game right away, down seven. Davis buries a huge three. That was monstrous. I mean, for a kid who only shoots 26% from the three-point line, that was a big basket from the young freshman. Four-point game back here at Sinta Center, and LaFonso Ellis, Xavier really needed a bucket, and the freshman came through. D. Davis is a very confident play, but nice read on the strong side of the floor, recognized the double team, and could find D. Davis over in the corner. Only a 26% three-point shooter, but sometimes your confidence overrides your ability. Certainly happened there with D. Davis. And again, Chris Mack saying the trip to Hawaii, where they went one and two and lost to Hawaii with both Lions and Holloway in the lineup. This Mac said Pete Davis was the lone bright spot out there. John the Zags with essentially three guards on the floor right now. All can handle the basketball. So if pressure comes from Xavier, it's going to be really difficult to force them to turn it over. Nice read. Sacre couldn't find the handle. Shot clock winding down. Pangos to pull up. Oh, what a shot. The freshman buries it. We talked about could they handle the pressure of the inexperienced backcourt of Xavier, forgive me, of Gonzaga, and they've really answered the bell in this second half. How about Kevin Pangos, the freshman, catches the basketball when they need a big basket, the crossover to get some space. The son of a coach knocks it down. Now here in Cincinnati, Cinta Center, Gonzaga on the road leading Xavier by seven. What a shot by the freshman. Kevin Pangos is their leading scorer on the season. He's got only nine in this one, but hit a huge three. We mentioned he hit nine three-pointers in a game, the second game of the year against Washington State. And the reporters asked him, so was your phone blowing up? Did you get a ton of messages? And he said, no, I forgot to pay my bill and my phone was <laughs> off. So I didn't get any of the texts or the calls. <laughs> We got all the messages from Facebook and Twitter. Nothing on the phone. Got to pay that bill. <laughs> Sacre backs it back out and now calls timeout. And we let you know Wednesday night coverage of college hoops continues on ESPN2 and ESPNU. First, it'll be number five, Duke, taking on Temple on ESPN2, 7 Eastern. And over on the U, number 13, Marquette, number 12, Georgetown in a Big East battle. It's Wednesday night on the two and on the U. Sam Dower, he has been tremendous off the bench inside and outside. Celebrating New Year's early, going to the party. It's been the Sam Dower show, and he's done it in every way, John. He's made some tough baskets uh, out in the mid-range area. He's knocked down three-point shots. And on a, on a night where Robert Sacre couldn't quite get it going, Kevin Pangos has been quiet until that three. Sam Dower has come in this basketball game and really impacted the game. The entire bench for Gonzaga has been exceptional tonight. 
How about 30 bench points for Gonzaga? They've also controlled the offensive board. 14 offensive rebounds for 17 points. Angles can't hit. And Bell not able to save Xavier basketball. Mike Hart checks back in. And again, coming up next year on ESPN2, Pac-12 battle is Oregon and Washington. Lions kicks to Holloway. Can't get it to go. And Walker, big offensive rebound. Lions ball fake. Three. Sacre boards, and that's a big miss. Down there, team who shoots about 36% from the three-point line. Three of 16 tonight. The three-point line has really let him down. John, but you got to credit Gonzaga's defense. Their ball screen defense has been exceptional. Matu Holloway of Mark Lyons is coming off that ball screen after a hard heads. The weak side guard is just standing there, kind of the Kobe concept defensively at the elbow, keeping them from getting deep penetration down the lane. You know, for those four games, we gave you the contrast where Xavier went one and three during that period of suspensions. Wells missed all four. Holloway missed one. Lions two. But defense was the issue. Tonight, it really feels like the offense has been more of the problem. Holloway. And now Walker, a jumper. Off the window and good. Timeout, Xavier. Five-point game, timeout in the court. Back to the studio, we check in with Ryan Burr. All right, John, just a reminder, coming up next, less than 10 minutes from now, we head to the Pac-12, both Oregon and Washington, both 1-0 in conference play. We will head there next, guys. All right, Ryan here, under a minute to go, and Chris Mack drawing up what he wants done defensively. Possession arrow favors the home team, Xavier. Gonzaga with three timeouts. Both teams will be shooting one and one. So one of the problems that really a conundrum for Xavier is with this lineup that Gonzaga has on the floor. They have three point guards really out on the floor with Stockton, with Pangos, and of course with Gary Bell Jr. And so to speed them up and try to get turnovers is gonna be near impossible. So you're gonna have to play the foul game at some point. Elias Harris is a good guy to foul, only 60% from the free throw line. But he's on the bench right now. They get it into Pangos. Not a guy you wanna foul. <laughs> 85%, and they get over and back. Big turnover. I was shielded from that one, John, because as you know, the ball can come over, but if your feet are still behind, you're still considered in the backcourt. That's a tough one. John, for, for Xavier, if they get into their ball screen action, Whoever sets the ball screen that's on that same side as the guy who's open, they have to look for the throwback. They'll get some open looks if they can do it. Holloway. That was from deep, and Walker fouls Dower. Tell you what, though, how many times in his career have we seen him make that shot? We saw him hit a big one against Purdue, and so that's a shot that he's definitely capable of making. But that's really been the story for Xavier tonight, their offense just has not been in sync. They've been able to get some open looks and not been able to knock it down. I feel like defense has been just okay, good enough to be able to win, but their offense has really let them down. Dower with 19 points, a career high, nine rebounds in this game. And 19 points representing a season high. And we heard so much about Gonzaga, the concerns that everyone had about this team coming in was their backcourt play. I'd say early in this season,